So when I tell you that I was like super excited that Monique was on Club Shay Shay, that I literally could not wait. I watched it the day it came out and I was like, yes, finally, finally. I personally have always been a fan of Monique for a very long time. I watched her the, when she did the Queens of Comedy. I've watched a lot of her shows, the Parkers, just all the movies she's been in. And she really has that track record where she is a great comedian. She's an amazing comedian. But for those who don't know, probably about a decade ago, she got a lot of backlash after the movie Precious came out because it was noted in the industry that she was difficult to work with. And she says that a lot of people blacklisted her. But she actually says the two people who blacklisted her the most from basically receiving her revenues, receiving her money, was Oprah and Tyler Perry. And she talks about this in the interview on Club Shay Shay. And I will tell you the interview is about two, almost three hours long, um, but you have to watch it. You have to watch the whole thing, enjoy it, kick back, relax, don't be on your phone, pay attention to what she's saying because she's telling a lot. She's telling a lot. It's giving a lot of that cat Williams type energy where basically she acknowledges that the reason why people didn't receive her message the first time was because her message was very similar to the message that Tarji Henson was giving. And she said the reason why it wasn't received is because ultimately people did not like the messenger that she was, meaning her outer appearance, her physical appearance, wasn't something that people actually took in. And I'll be honest, I want Monique to succeed. I want her to receive the revenues that she feels that she deserves and get back to being on the right track. But she does have a lot of fiery sense about her. And some of that sense can be making it a little bit difficult in some of the ways of her chart. So I'm gonna look at her chart and let her know how she can succeed and continue to succeed with regaining whatever it is that she once felt that she lost because of certain individuals. So first of all, she feels that Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey need to basically pay her back <laughs> for the money that she lost. And I'll be honest, when you talk about reputation, that's a big one. That is a big one. And at first I was like, maybe she should let this go and she should humble herself, right? Maybe that will help her a little, a little bit more when I first thought about this. But one of the things I want to point out about her is she is a Sagittarius sun. She is an ascendant in Aquarius. Pay close attention. Remember, we're in Aquarius season. And she has a moon in Aries. Homegirl doesn't have no humble in her. Like she, she's humble in her own aspect at certain things, but she's going to speak up and she's going to say what it is that she needs to say. Also, she is very, very, very fiery. She's very spicy. That Sagittarius sun with that Aries moon lets me know that she is emotional in certain elements, especially when it comes to who she is. So her being talked about and also not receiving the revenue that she deserves really is like, huh, yeah, you come for my money, honey, you, we're gonna have problems. And when I look at her second house, which is known as like one of your wealth house and areas of material items, I see that she has Saturn in it along with her Aries moon. So there was no doubt about it that she was gonna continue to talk about this. Saturn's about restrictions and what they took away from her. So this was hitting her in a, in a spot that really was like, no, 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 no. You're not gonna let me forget this. And I'm not gonna move on quietly. And then I thought about it for a second. I said, well, when she kept saying she's the messenger, the messenger, what's going on with the Mercury? So her Mercury is literally aligned. She has this nice, nice little area where it's right by her sun. So it's aligned in Sagittarius at nine degrees. So her Mercury trines her Saturn. Her Mercury is in Sagittarius and her Saturn is in Aries. So this is creating this area where she is able to speak quite well. She's also able to be funny. She's able to give that messenger message. 
And I'm not surprised that people were trying to quiet that message in the beginning and they were successful as of now. But as we are entering the years of where we are in basically Aquarius season, this is the age of Aquarius. And what we have to remember when we are speaking about this is Mercury, the messenger, even though it's not ruled by an Aquarius, it is exhalated in Aquarius, which means it feels very comfortable there. And Mercury is all about the mind, the communication, the mental, the physical as well, when we think about health and medical areas, but it's also about the media. There's now ways for people who once had their message being shut down, now they have their own areas of where they can actually have that message come out. So another thing I wanna point out is that her and Neptune is in Scorpio. And Neptune is all about that area of like illusions, dreams, fantasies. And then we have Scorpio, which is all about secrets, areas of closing chapters. And what it's doing is creating a, a, a trine with her Chiron that happens to be in Aries. And what's interesting about this is she talked about in her interview how she was very naive in the beginning of her career. And ultimately, I think this energy came and hurt her a lot. We, we see it. We can feel it. We can tell. But what's interesting now is now the North Node energy, which she has her North Node in Aries. And we currently have that in her second house. And right now, the North Node is aligned with Aries. Aries is all about your current energy of goals. It's all about who you are in creation. This is the time that she needs to pick up the ground pick up those feet hit the ground running and she should not stop speaking up on who she is because that rebellious nature that is causing so much turmoil is basically that uranus energy and we see that her ascendant is aquarius so her ascendant makes her rebellious it makes her out of the box it makes her nervous and also that Uranus is in Virgo, which is very stable. And it's about your daily rituals. It's about who you are. It's also about the things that play out. It's very earthy, but for her being a fire element right now, this is a good energy as we just had the new year of the dragon. This is a good energy for her, but that Uranus in 28 degrees wants me to say in that, in that seventh house of partnerships even though you might seem look maybe I don't, and she doesn't seem nervous at all about was you know speaking up but even though it might make other people nervous this is what you need to do monique you need to speak up also you need to write a book also you probably need to just do your own show and i'm going to tell you something i honestly think you should go independent i don't think you should wait for anybody else there is some things that i would say that she should do that i've been noticing she, she's kind of been hitting the comedy scene again and she has not apologized she will not apologize because she hasn't done anything wrong but I think this whole thing with her and D.L. Hughley, she should definitely maybe take a couple steps back from it. Maybe clear, she already cleared the air, but in all honesty, that's not the caliber that she's after. We know the caliber she's after. And those should be where she puts her main focus on. I also think with her too, that at first I thought about it and I thought about it like this. So if you get a job, and when you get hired for this job, they tell you they're going to pay you $20 an hour. Then you start working at this job and you only start to receive maybe 10. Are you going to sit down and continue to work at that job? Or are you going to say something and get what's rightfully yours? Something that you were promised, something that you feel like you deserve. And it shouldn't be held back from you just because you are a woman. So I 100% agree with her and I hope she continues this journey quite well, which I think she will because this next year for Monique, I think is actually going to be an exceptional year. So um, yeah, that's my opinion on her chart. Everybody have a great day. Bye.